Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. for Dustin Poirier in fight one. He cannot allow that to happen in fight number two. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed that to. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, oh. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Gregor's right back to the full mouse. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound companies. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there for Smith. It is his best strike, and it's because he knows exactly where he needs to be in the octagon to land that left hand over and over again. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that one. Punches block. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Dude shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one, all right, here we go. Round two. Dustin Ready, the fight. Diamond Poirier. Ready. And Conor McGregor. Effective punch there by Dustin Poirier. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice defense there. Huge block. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, straight right. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. All right, single collar. Oh, shot there. He's 
lucky his head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ndani. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem yet. Left hook right hand. Oh! Oh my goodness! It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dustin the Diamond Warrior. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. If you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, you got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.